play some control. Oop. All right, so new game. This is my first time playing. Therefore, could we please keep all hints, tips, spoilers, back seating, uh, speculation, and stuff to a minimum? You can talk about anything, just not the game. Let's get started. New game. Here are some common options you may wish to adjust before starting the game. Brightness. Adjust the brightness until the left icon is not visible, the middle icon is barely visible, and the right icon is clearly visible. I'm not gonna lie, I can only see two icons, so I guess it's working. <laughs> Is this a uh, is this the first part of the weird fuckery? I can only see two icons, so I'm I'm assuming that everything is fine, and I'm just going to leave it as such. Yes, there's some bad stuff going around about control at the moment, not for the game, but for the publisher. The publisher has done some. The publisher is doing some fuckery. Um. Mostly, I'll, I'll turn it up a little bit. It's always slightly darker for stream than it is for me. The publisher has done some fuckery at the moment in that most games at the moment being released or being updated and stuff have the option where if you buy them for the PS4 you will get a free or or, or slightly cheaper upgrade to when, uh, when the PS5 version comes out. For Control, that is only for the people who buy Control Ultimate Game of the Year Legendary Master Edition. So you have to buy the uh, the, the current 60, 60 pound version for the upgrade, and uh, yeah, it's just it just it's just a bit sticky. It's just a bit icky, gross publishing nonsense. But I'm playing this via PS now, so works for me. All right, let's go crazy. Ooh, I want to check one thing. I didn't think so. One second, there we go. Movement is critical to avoiding sustaining damage in combat. Standing still is not advisable. Well, there goes my plan of just standing out of the open and trying to neo my way through all the bullets. That's not going to work. Give me a shout with the audio guys, louder, quieter, etc. Et this is gonna be weirder than usual. Things are already pretty weird. Can't be helped. You called me, so here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room. And the poster. The picture is something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie. Ugh, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie, something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. 
the rooms, not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Hello? Anyone okay, here? Hey, welcome everybody to the Federal Bureau of Control. Well, that was a nice little intro spiel, wasn't it? Everything's going to be extra weird this time. I cannot wait. Okay. Federal Bureau of Control, United States of America. Invenio Investigatio Imperium. I mean, Imperium Investigation. Invenio Intervention Investigation. Imperium? Where are we at? I don't know, but it's just like some random building. All the, all the glittery sparkles. Time to use my time to do my usual thing of looking at everything. Hello. Oh, I can zoom in. Cool. Flags. Do I want to go through the beeper? There's nobody here, which is always reassuring. When you enter, when you enter a government building, and there's no one about. The E twenty eight hundred walk through metal detector. Beep, beep. Prohibited items reminder and correspondence. Okay, here we go. Reminder Certain objects are not allowed inside the Bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited weapons, unauthorized weapons, pages, laptops, smart watches, smartphones. Smart gaming devices, anything smart, number two pencils. Any objects considered iconic representations of an archetypical concept, e.g. rubber ducks, ketchup bottles. All material under bureau investigation is to be brought in through the private entrances. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, Please notify your supervisor immediately. That's why we didn't set anything off, because I brought Twitch chat through and it said nothing smart. Oh, get roasted, chat. Seriously though, uh, did everyone remember to put their pencils away? Because uh, I can't go anywhere without my number two pencil. How are you today, Marinda? Internal lockdown in effect. Building lockdown in effect. Multiple containment breaches detected. Multiple building sh building shifts detective. Head of research override. HRA protocol activated. And the world's just fattest cigarettes. Seriously, those things are huge. Smoke those with your entire hand. 
Okay, well, if I care to talk about your internal and building lockdowns, uh, I got in by walking off the street. So it's uh, not working out too well. We have psychic door powers. Can I change the field of view just a little bit? Oh my god, I just saw a photo mode. Be still, my beating heart. Okay, we got pneumatic tubes. We've got more information. Bureau expenditures. Executive sector, quarterly two. Major, staffing, surveillance, redacted. Data center initiative, construction, redacted and redacted. Minor expenses, office equipment, janitorial costs, redacted, mold removal, and HQ livability costs. Cost breakdown spreadsheet. Yeah, da, da, da. Okay. Uh huh. Message tubes. Got us a Federal Bureau of Filing. Seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. How's the audio for voices now? Hopefully I'll fix that. Head of Research, Dr. Casper Darling. Hello. You remind me of someone. Our bureau at work. Cleaning up. I'll take a Everybody take a quick trip to the bathroom. This might be your last chance. We got toilets. We got sinks. Well, that's it. Director Zachariah Trench. Yala, hello. I've got a small cat. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. Ah, so this is the mis this is the mysterious organization. Can I Is there a crouch? Can I No crouch. Okay, that's fine. Plus, I think that's actually glass. I don't. I don't think I can. Uh, don't think. No matter how much crouching I can do, I don't think I can get through the window. <laughs> oh, snacks, hell yeah. We got crackers, trail mix, pistachios, pistachios, potato chips, pretzels, more crackers, proteins, fibers. Weird. Not a single brand name anything. Not even a fake brand. We've got... Okay, here's, here's some things. I am dressed like... I am dressed like a late 2000s human being. Everything in this office so far has been very archaic. We've got typewriters and reel-to-reel -reel audio cassettes. We have urgent classified correspondence. <laughs> redacted, a shark in his redacted, although secure, redacted, permission to redacted, following basic protocol, redacted, shoot to kill. Redacted, good luck. Okay, well, the more you know. I can already tell this is going to be insane.
Let's work hard. His life is in your hands. Everyone's safety depends on you. Uh oh. No pressure or anything. Stand on the table. Hello, as you'd all know by now, the R4 reports are due at the end of the week. I'm still waiting on them from a number of people. If you need an extension, please request form R4.E from your supervisor. If you think you're exempt from filing an R4, then you'll need to get written permission from your department chief saying so. Remember, R4s are mandatory under section 75.2 of the employee manual. If your R4 requires interdepartmental claims, then please contact the appropriate department head, Dr. Darling, Miss Marshall, Mr. Salvador, or Mr. Kirkland as needed. They'll be busy on Thursday in their annual policy review, so please schedule accordingly. Everybody needs to fill out their R4s, alright? I don't wanna I don't wanna repeat of last year where we were chasing you for six months. How does anyone get into this room? <laughs> I found the janitor. Hello? Hello? Okay. Is this a picture, of a, a picture of a cowboy on your desk? Hey, um... Hey. Excuse me. What's going on? There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Arti. The janitor, by the way. Hi, Arti. You will work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they uh, you are no relevant. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna you want. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Did he just hear the thoughts in my head? Or did I just hear the thoughts in his head? Right, that's how that seemed, yeah? Like, I get this guy's weird and stuff, but... Did we just share a moment? Is that how this is going to work? Do I get like an insight into people's minds? Uh. Alright, Artie the janitor. I'm going this way. I look forward to meeting you behind the sauna with the axe. We got more pictures. Did I just walk back? Did I just walk backwards? It's gonna be one of those games, is it? Hang on. Oh cool, I have a sprint. Hang on, I'm just... Can't go back again. Closed off. Uh, it's gonna be one of those games. Okay. We well, might as well start tearing up those maps I know you're drawing. They are gonna be no use where we're off to. Yeah, the picture of where the janitor was is now the elevator. Everything else is all the same, though. Okay. This is perfectly normal, yeah. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. 
They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Alright, here we go. Intro... Intro scenes? I mean, I gotta say, so far, the first, this first 20 minutes, mmm, what a delicious taster, and give me more. And it was talking about building shifts, wasn't it? you there for a moment you know what's on my mind my baby brother Dylan 17 years since the men of this bureau took him okay so this is like a we've got a bit of a men in black spin here brother stolen by nefarious government purposes during some sort of event they had 11 years ago We got weird, gross plants. We got pictures of cowboys everywhere. We have another empty security office. Okay. Wee woo, wee woo. The approved terminology reminder. While pending any notification of death related to the Willow AWE, please adhere to the following guidelines. Words and phrases to use. In the service of his slash her country, regret, proud, pride, and will be remembered. Words and phrases to avoid. Alaska, scissors, blood or bleed, loss, and apologies or sorry. Okay then. One of those governmental things. Remember, we're never sorry. We tell ourselves it's okay to be old. Oof. That seems like a fun read. Clearance level 01. Burp. Okay. Do not have the correct key cards. There's a lot of pictures of Director Trench around. Don't slack off, the boss is always watching. Is that a stapler or an altered item? Don't take office equipment outside of the building. Recycle. Rules of office conduct. Speak in moderate volume. No personal calls. No food or drink around bureau documents or in the copy room. No using the, the photocopier for personal projects or the 3D printer or the bureau stationery. Wear access badge at all times. No discussing confidential projects out loud. The one to finish the coffee pot makes a new one. Reasonable. A reasonable uh, office dynamic there. It is very dark. I might boost the brightness just a little bit. Probably it hasn't helped a huge amount, but whatever. We got things to touch. Barbara, I am not to be disturbed. Cancel all of my appointments for the day, for the rest of the week. I can't trust them, Barbara. Not a single one. Okay, 
Director Trench is getting a little bit paranoid. of the director. I am here for the janitor's job. Shit. Uh, shit, shit, yeah. shit. He was like that when I found him. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? Okay. Hey, buddy. Something's outside. Oh, was coming here a mistake? Well, we're in the thick of it now. Guess I'm going to touch the gun. Results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> Okay, things are getting extra extra crazy weird. So we're being spoken to from some sort of otherworldly pyramid, presented with a with a real life video. Follow the board's instructions to complete the astral plane challenge. Oh, there's that. That's a big pyramid. Huh. Huh. So we got jumps. We can climb up ledges. Can melee with triangle. Ooh. That's a little bit more than just a punch in the face. Got a little bit of psychic power, and here is our... The same gun. Gun. Okay. Now I have a gun. Cool, and what a weird gun it is. Total, like parts. Okay, I'm just I am aiming badly on purpose. Okay, so it recharges, there's no like ammo. Okay, cool. The service weapon regenerates ammunition automatically when not in use. Well, alright then. Can I blind fire? I can. Blind fire's got a little bit of sticky aim to it, which is nice. It's cool, I'm just shooting the shadow, man. Tough. Okay, so it's got like an overheat function more than, say... Oop. 
overheat more than uh, more than ammunition. Nope. He's also got a gun. Get out of here. Go find your own weird nether realm. Enemies drop health elements when. Okay, so that's what these little blue blips are. Little shiny droplets of health. Delicious. Okay. Something's coming. This threat. An attack. Duty as director. Keep the bureau safe. Did you hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. Mm. Things have quieted down outside. I'm still a little nervous about everything. Go. You know, what with the dead person killing himself and I guess... space there's nothing else here just there's this poor sword I'm guessing he was like rejected rejected by the service weapon oh hi hang on I just want to I may have made a mistake. You can't let this happen. 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 You stopped it. You. Thank you. That was. horror. Okay. Get the fuck away. This game has so much style already. Yeah. These transitions are something special. Okay, so the gun protected me from the weird red light. Now you notice the audio is desynced with the game visuals. Okay. How about... Let me try this. Because uh, I think I know what's... I think I know what's wrong there. Hey, welcome back, Trap. Alright. Uh, is it before or after? So firing the gun in three, two, one. Because I'd rather get this fixed now. Really is, uh, the gun seems fine. Didn't notice the characters were talking. There was a really obvious desync with the lips. I don't think the the, the maybe that's just the, the lip sync. Might just be might just be the quality of the lip sync to be honest. Well, we'll keep going. Let me know if you sort of spot it in the future. Undefined reading. I don't have the clearance level. His guard. 
The Bureau has many internal security personnel. The Hiss was quick to take advantage of this fact. Hiss guards used the standard issue bullpup rifles they carried prior to corruption, while the armored guards carry pump action shotguns. They have no observed paranatural abilities with the exception that certain Hiss guards are protected by a shielding of dense Hiss resonance, capable of stopping bullets. Is this shielding a result of prolonged Hiss corruption? Does the Hiss mature in organic hosts over time? More data is needed. Did the Hiss target individuals with combat training? Does the Hiss have that level of cognizance? Does it utilize hosts for tasks they are best suited to? Combat trained hosts are reserved for combat? These are all questions for later, although that it is obvious that corrupted individuals retain knowledge of the use of their weapons. Okay, this is real cool. This information is super neat and all. But I want to just draw your attention to this bit right here. Compiled by Emily Pope Research Specialist, by order of Director Jesse Faden. That's me. Well, her, me. That's me. Are these reports from in the future once I get a chance to write all this up? I guess I'm the director now? Case files on the service weapon. Containment procedure, no unique procedures required. The object's form is variable. When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians to redact. The object must be bound by individuals seeking the role of... director, I presume. The object will determine whether... redacted. If rejected, the applicant is terminated. Process is dictated by the blank, though their criteria is unknown. The object was discovered inside the oldest house, in the room that is now used as the director's office. With the popular hypothesis blank many forms throughout history, blank 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 blank, Mjolnir, Excalibur, Vanrastra, Varanastra, all weapons that blank of their wielders. If objects of powers are the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious, this may be the original manifestation of this event. Okay, so this is this is the weapon. This is the this is the golden bullet, the 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 the, the, the knight sword that strikes down the dragon in all the legends that have come to pass. Okay. And that's that Objects of Power video we saw. Okay, so we hold in our hands Excalibur. Still not cleared for level 1 access. Oh yeah, this is what I was expecting. Once the textures load in. That right there is... Uh, that's Director Jesse Faden. So not only... Plant. <laughs> not only does having the weapon immediately make me Director of the Bureau of Control, but it completely changes various timelines so that I was always the Director? Oldest house. We got crazy red lights. The hot light. Secure line of communication. Guide us. Reach the hot line. The hot line. Says the dead man. Okay. So stylish. Oh, here we go again. Hmm? 
I just want to point out to everybody once again, I am not the best at shooting. I guess he's doing a bit better with the with the free aim. So that person is just floating there. Quit it. So this room has now come in. Oh no, they're still coming. Headshots give a nice little stun. Uh, so, hey buddy. Bathroom check. <laughs> the other has just come into the room and let rip the most heinous smell. That's my current object of power. Okay, executive meeting minutes. The rising costs of AWE response. Update on mold eradication efforts. The upcoming annual salary review. New supplier of coffee filters to be found and vetted. Please come prepared. Thank you for your time. I love this crazy juxtaposition between men in black saving the world and 9 to 5 office job. Where's the toner for the photocopier? <laughs> Just going into the gents' bathroom. Doesn't look like anything. There's that. There's that like background noise happening. <gasps> Audio logs! Hooray! Reminder: If you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. One: Search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Two. Carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three, wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. Okay. Hello. Can we help you with something? Anything? Nope, you're just gonna come here and stand in the way, aren't you? Excuse me. Excuse me. We need to have a conversation. Hmm? We need to have a conversation about that smell you just released. Hmm? Because it's horrible. And you're so small. Hey, Don Father, how are you today? What's up? You're gonna sit there. Okay, she's just gonna sit there. Stinky cat, truly. I just noticed. Those are some. This is some severe. Empty bottles going on here. That's like. Port and absinthe and, and rum. I mean, whatever gets you through the day, right? I'm doing alright, Don Father. Thank you for asking. Not sure how I feel about pictures of me being on the wall everywhere, though. That's creeping me out now.
dinner reservations. Dinner reservations at 7 p.m. at Chez Ombre. Or Chez Ombre. Wife will meet you there. Don't be late. Flowers are ready for you at lobby reception. Remember, she is turning 46. Who's that to? Who's that to or from? Don't let mold hitch a ride. Perform daily body checks for foreign plant matter. Always do. I don't need no poster to tell me that. Always do. Busy with life, don't father. Yeah, pretty much. Wow, that is just a shelter built into a wall. Okay, it would appear the safe rooms are not safe from Flotitis, which is what I'm going to call whatever these guys have. Emergency lights. Boxes of goodies. These are all materials, so I'm presuming there's some sort of upgrade system or something going to happen eventually. No worries, Barry. Have a lovely, uh, you have a lovely day. For Marshall's eyes only. Marshall, we checked out the suspected AWE in Duluth. Or in Duluth. Wasn't anything. Just like the house fire before this and the malfunctioning clothes dryer before that. My team is getting pretty sick of duds. We need to find a better way of sorting through, a uh, sorting through the fake AWEs from the real things. Or you need to rotate these field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're on hope, uh, en route to Sherman Ranch, next one on the list. Let's hope it's a little livelier there. From Special Agent Keenum. Okay, so... I'm reading. So I'm guessing, yeah, these, these crazy events and objects are so random and show up so frequently everywhere that every time there's a slightly odd house fire or like a toaster goes on the fritz they have to send one of their men in black out to investigate it just in case you're pathetic did you know that you're, tr you're truly pathetic excuse me what has got into you huh do you want dinner is that it Maybe if you go ask Diana very nicely, she might feed you. But you'll have to ask really nicely. Come away from there. Huh. Well, they seem happy enough. No one's bleeding from anything or particularly looking like they've been snapped in half. Oh hey, it's gone all red. Central executive. The hissing sound that tried to evade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Don't know I'll be humming this one. Radio, okay. I was like, what is this thing? Why can't I pick it up? Yeah, someone's, someone's been playing around with the helium just a little bit too much. Alright, gotta investigate every corner. I need as much information as possible. Urban Legends, here we go. Urban Legends are believed to affect the creation of altered materials, but can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. So that's an AWE, an altered world event. Okay. 
Urban legends are understood as the modern evolution of Jung's archetypes. We recognize certain somethings informed by our own blanks and popularized by our media. We have additionally proven that urban legends can be artificially blanked in popular culture using blank, our own bureau-made anthology television program. Once the seeds are sown, human imagination exacerbates the details. Certain paranatural phenomena contain clear elements of popularized folklore, AWEs that, are, that occur only on blank, a pair of scissors that consumes human blank through two punctures on the blank. These details, living in the minds of many, have been given strength through belief. Urban legends are not just stories for children, they are paranatural realities waiting to happen. Okay, so this is getting into all sorts of uh, human unconscious, like the sort of the joint unconscious that all humans share, like how the story of Moses appears in pretty much every significant religion and like the idea of tulpas where if you imagine something long and hard enough it exists and i mean that's kind of that's the that's the the basics yeah it's small gods if you've ever read small gods by terry pratchett it's that there is a there is an amount of belief in the world and and the amount of belief directed towards or against something can give or release power. And the Hogfather, yeah. Visitor evaluations. How to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby. Okay, so this is how someone should have greeted me when I got here. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, established in 1964 as part of an effort to strengthen government relations. We are proud to serve the United States and her people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nature's infrastructure. Okay, so they tell you nothing. They say when they were established and then it's all the, you know, when you, when you sign up to like a media company and they're like, we produce innovative... Uh, solutions to help you with your business practices. It's like, what, what do you do? If they do not leave, then ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? How do you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and they need to leave. If their answers seem blank, escort them to a private room. There, perform the Gunnar's psychological assessment. If their responses are within acceptable range of deviance, see the provided scoring sheet, then blank immediately. Remember, there's no such thing as too suspicious. Fair enough, I'm gonna remember that. No such thing as too suspicious. Delays caused by house shifts do not count towards overtime. I got lost in the basement for six days. But we're not paying you for it. Hey, there's that pyramid again. This seems normal and fine and okay. Oh, can we not hop over? Right. Yep, here we go again. Second class, Pulaski. Enjoy, Pulaski. I can play silly buggers around this concrete block all day. The melee is definitely a get away from me. It's That's 
what it means by the shifting of the house. Okay then. Holy shit. <laughs> you did it. We did it. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Are you with us? With the Bureau? I guess I am. Are you still sane? I like this sort of shimmery effect that's kind of guiding me along. Hello. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope. Emily Pope. I'm Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. <laughs> oh, shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Okay, so everyone knows I'm the director already. I suppose my picture is literally everywhere, so. Oh, hello. Director Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things, it's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? Can we talk about the floating and you people? you entered the building when it was already in the <laughs> lockdown, before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Mm -hmm. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. There's this weird thing where I'm not sure if it's when she says when okay. she starts talking to you, you I don't know if it's me as in the before. player or Push the hiss out. whatever weird stuff is going on, but I'm sure we'll find out. Cleanse the hiss corrupted agent. Okay. Hi miss. Please don't like explode or something. Like either work or don't, don't like get turned inside out. It didn't work. Well, they didn't the explode. Has burrowed too deep, ripping it out. Agent. The hist manifests in human hosts in numerous ways. 
The most common and least intense form is seen in the many corrupted agents floating throughout the Bureau. The His agents have maintained their human appearance, undergoing no obvious physical transformation. The most notable distinction from an unaffected human is the fact that they levitate. It's pretty notable. I noted it. These hiss have displayed no aggressive behavior. They only seem interested in vocalizing the strange incantation ad infinitum. Perhaps these vessels are only meant to propagate the hiss corruption like spores or Wi-Fi boosters. Or are they cocoons preparing to enter their next stage of evolution? When attacked, hiss agents disappear, perhaps entering a state of invisibility or undergoing a transformation into a purely resonant form. Research is ongoing. Rips them apart. Uh huh. Okay, so I probably don't Jesse, want to like. We need to make a plan, Jesse. Probably don't want to go around decontaminating too many people. They don't seem to like it. Hi, Emily. Um, that was a bad time. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen, the Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. Ordinary, of course. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. A few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench. The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons, too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Yeah, you gotta go find the red phone. Don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. 
I gotta you know, say, the, whoever is in charge of cinematography the for this. The department is just outside mwah. the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Beautiful. Follow the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. Can I chat with you a bit more? Thanks, Emily. Thank you. The hotline should be in the communications department. Oh, cool. So we can talk about everything. That's nice. Okay. Uh, origin of the hiss. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. Okay, so that's the origins of the hiss. Tell me about the oldest house. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. Uh, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't, which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. Okay. So we're in this ever-shifting magic house. I wonder if, if, like, the service weapon is Excalibur. If the oldest house is sort of like... I don't know, the Isle of Avalon or something like that, like a, 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 an ancient, an ancient place in all of the legends. This trench guy, I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense, but an echo may be. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, Maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I'd need the gun to research it. But you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. <laughs> kind of using the gun right now. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? Got it. Thanks. Okay, so objects of power are like the big things that can be controlled. Altered items are like uh, malfunctioning stuff. It's just it's it, it's not as powerful, but it's going crazy and haywire. Okay, tell me about these fancy little chest plates you're wearing. So HRA stop you from becoming hiss. It seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Okay then. Miss Mr Mr Dr Darling person, I imagine is going to become very important to us very shortly. All right, well, thank you. Thanks, Emily. I'll see you soon. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. 
Just let me know. There is a lot of... Uh, a lot of pictures on the wall. Presumably past directors. Yeah, there's Trench up there and a little... A little red rag over where my picture's probably gonna go. Should we go to the communications department? See what we can see. Alright, which way is that gonna be? Da -da -da. Do with a do with a signpost. Sector elevator. Okay, I am here. What am I doing? I have a literal map. <laughs> I have a literal map. And this is going this way. Great. All right, here we go. We are floaty people. There it is We've again. Got like a, like a, a welcome a barricade. message. See, how's your life going? Hi, friends. I was gonna wonder. <laughs> I was wondering how long it'd take them to notice me. Oh my god. Just the worst shot in the world. Please, any bullet, hit him. <laughs> here. Anybody else? Welcome to the cafeteria. 